हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग अ वेरी सिंपल लॉग इन विद रिएक्ट एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज द बटन यू कैन सी दैट लॉग इन विद फेसबुक इफ आई हिट दिस बटन आई विल बी जनरेटिंग अ विंडो आस्किंग फॉर माई ई मेल एड्रेस एंड पासवर्ड यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई क्लिक लॉग इन सो यू विल सी दैट इट विल फैच माई प्रोफाइल पिक्चर दिस इज माई नेम एंड दिस इज माई फेसबुक ई मेल सो यू कैन सी दैट हैज फैच थ्री डिटेल्स and it is displaying it so we will be looking at how to do this in react so first of all we will be using this library called as react facebook login so this is the official github link i have given in the video description you can just check and we will be looking at how to do this from scratch so for that we i am using a online ide which is code sandbox so if you go to google here uh just type here code sandbox and the first link which comes up just click this link and we will be creating our application here so just click on create sandbox you can even create your account in order to save your work but i will not i will just create sandbox here and then you just need to select your language i am selecting react here and then it has generated the boilerplate code for the react application you can see that now we just need to add this dependency so adding dependency is very easy just click this button and then you just need to write react facebook login so it will come up the name of the dependency you can see that react facebook login so this is the component react for facebook login so just click it it will install it in the background you can see that it is installing so after installing we just need to change the title you can see that it has successfully installed it now we just need to change the title to facebook auth example and also let me just change this h2 also to get started login with facebook so now changing after changing this we just need to create some a component so right here in your source directory create a new directory called as components so inside this components directory we will be having our a single component which is facebook.js so which will be displaying the profile picture email address and name of the person so inside this this will be a class level component so we will import first of all uh react we will be importing react here react just write here react comma and in double curly brackets we will write here component from react you can see here react and then we just need to import our library so import facebook login from react facebook login so just import these two lines of code here and then we will be writing our component so which is class facebook which extends component so inside this we will be having our render method so let me just change the size so that you can see here in this we will be having a render method so inside this we can just return anything let's suppose a div which will hold hello world obviously we just need to include this component in index.js so we can just import facebook from it is there in the components folder facebook and now just after this we can just include this component facebook element type is invalid expected as string oh sorry we have not exported it so that is why it has just right here export default facebook so now you can see that we are successfully uh, importing our component which has the text hello world inside it obviously we just need a login with facebook button but before that we just need to create a app id for that we just need to go to facebook developer console so just go to google and type facebook developer console and go to this website developers.facebook.com so here you just need to create your app id for that just create app here name your app so react login app let me just give the name and this is your email address and then click create app id 
and then fill up this capture and click on submit so it will create your app here so here you, you will see that just click on setup here we need to set up the Facebook login and it will be a web application and here you just need to specify your site URL if you are building on localhost you will provide your full URL but uh, it this code sandbox if you are following this it gives a very easy approach it gives you a URL of your app here anyone can access it so if you paste it this URL on your browser it will open the actual app so I can just copy paste this URL into my website here site URL so this is a live app click on save and click on continue that's it and apart from that we don't need any kind of code here we only need the app ID so just click to copy here we will use it in later tutorial so the setup is done now we just need to uh, set up some state variables here right at the top before the render method we just need to write uh, declare some state so state is equal to in double curly brackets we will first variable we will be is logged in so this will uh, be checking that if the user is logged in or not the default value I will provide it to false the second will be user ID the user ID we will be getting it in the response similarly we will declare name also it will be empty email it will also be empty and last will be picture it will also be empty so these are the state level variables that we have declared here so put a semicolon and right after that in the in the re render method we just need to declare a variable which will be holding our response so right here in the render method just declare this fb content variable so put a semicolon and now we will check inside this if the state is if this dot state dot is logged in if it is true or false if the user is logged in or not so if it is uh, currently logged in we would be fb content to null we will not be displaying anything if it is currently logged in but if it is not logged in now in the else block we just need to display a login button so for that we just need to have have our component which is Facebook login so this is the Facebook login component we have successfully imported this component right here at the top here you can see that Facebook login so this is the component we are using here so this takes some options guys so the first option it takes is the actual app ID we have copy pasted this app ID you can see that if you go to your developer just click it to copy and right here paste it the second parameter it takes is auto load this is auto load to true so just write here true sorry this true will go in inside braces here true and the third argument it takes is the fields so fields holds what kind of information do you want to grab we need, we need to grab the name email and comma the picture of the person and the fourth parameter it takes is the on click so whenever you click the button you need to execute this function which I I will write here this dot component clicked so I will make this function in the next step component clicked and a last parameter it takes is the callback so if a response is written then this function will execute which is this dot response dot sorry the response Facebook so this is again a custom function I will create this function so that's it now we just need to bind this inside the, the FP content so just here I will be initializing it to the FP content so e put a equal to sign and inside uh, the curly brackets we will be holding this so just put a ending curly bracket also and put a semicolon that's it so this is our FP content so if the user is currently logged in we will be initializing it to null but if the user is not logged in we will be showing this login button 
and now we will be concatenating this button we will be removing this hello world and in the curly brackets we will write our variable which is fp content so now you will see that guys our button is ready here login with facebook it is coming from this here this is a response we have this is our component we have provided the app id these fields so our app is ready let me just save this and if i go back to the browser here uh, let me also save this also so if i refresh the application now fb is not defined sorry let me just see what is in facebook.js oh sorry guys we have written this is fb content not so just correct this fb content and now if i refresh this hopefully it will work so fb content you need to save it let me just refresh it if I click it login with Facebook can't load the URL the domain of this URL isn't included in the apps domains to be able to lo load this URL add all domains and subdomains of your app to the app domains field so here you just want to make some kind of change here guys so just go to your uh, uh, dashboard settings here so just go to settings here and go to basic and right here inside your this uh, site url you just you need to copy paste your site url which is uh, let me just show you this is your site url so copy it and paste it here and you need to click on save changes i think that i don't click the save changes so that is why it was giving me that error here so now if i refresh this uh, guys the problem was that our app id was incorrect you can see that we have the incorrect app id if i just go to my uh, react login app this was the app here so just click this app id and make sure that your app id is correct so let me just copy paste the correct app id here paste it here if i just refresh it here now if i just click the button here you will see that react login app will receive your name and profile picture and i can just click the continue button so it will see that nothing will happen because we haven't configured the we are not displaying any kind of detail here so now we just be uh, writing these functions so on click and call back so the on click function is very simple component clicked so right here before the render method we will be writing first of all the component clicked so this will be a arrow function so inside this i will just print out console log clicked so it is just there to make sure that we are just saying this in the console that the button is clicked and the second is response facebook so it will be holding the actual response which is coming from the api and uh, we just want to console log once again the response which is coming back and now we can just control s and now if i refresh the application in the browser let me just copy paste this url and open this in the browser So you can see that guys if i inspect element open inspect and go to console here and let me just log in with facebook click it so you will see that if i continue as, as john here click this button you will see that in the console a object has been returned here with the name email uh, this is a picture which is again an object so you can see that this is the url is there or you can see that of the picture so if you click this url you will redirect it to the image here so we will be uh, displaying these all these details inside a div so just get started here for displaying it also so now we just need to make sure that we are displaying these details uh, now we will be setting our variables here so in the console log response we just want to delete it instead we just want to set our state so this dot set state so inside this put a curly bracket so the first 
we will be uh, manipulating the is logged in we will be initializing it to true because the user is currently logged in and the second option will be user id this is the user id can be easily be get by response dot user id comma name name we will be initializing it to response dot name and the email is also very easy response dot email comma and for the picture it is uh, there inside uh, response dot picture dot data dot url so you can see that in the response let me just show you the response you can easily recognize that uh, it is there inside uh, the let me just show you in go to inspect here go to console mm. it is there inside this uh, response dot picture dot data dot url so you can see that or we have set it all the variables now so now we just need to display them on the screen so for that we just need to go inside our so now guys we just want to display all the details we have set the state variables here in the earlier step we have set all these user id name email picture is logged in now we just want to go to this portion here this dot state dot is logged in so when the user is logged in we just want to delete the null here we want to provide the actual value to this fp content so inside this put a curly put a square parentheses so inside this we will write our content put a semicolon as well so inside this we will be having our a div tag so inside this div tag we will be displaying our things here so it will be holding a style attribute also we will be styling it so just after it declare a style attribute so in inside double curly brackets you will write our style first of all i will give a width property of uh, 400 pixel so just write 400 pixel and the next property i will be giving is the margin to auto the next property i will give is the background color so background is equal to light gray so this is a hexadecimal code of it f4 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 so this is a hexadecimal code for this put a comma and the last property i will give is a padding which is 20 pixel that's it so this is all we need for the style attribute if i just control save here you will see that it has aligned the code here so now inside this we just need to display our image so put a image track image source will be equal to we will be initializing it to this dot state dot the image picture here picture variable and we will also be giving a alt attribute to it alt is the name this dot state dot name and we will close the image tag and then after that we will be having our h2 tag so inside this h2 we will be printing out our we will be welcoming the user here so welcome put a colon and then we will concatenate the actual name which is this dot state dot name and right here after it we will be having our h3 tag which is the email of the user so here inside we will write this dot state dot email and also we will be having some space here that's it so now we just close the div here guys so you can see that there is some kind of error which which is there so just put a angular bracket here so just close this div so right here at the bottom here close the div here that's it so all the errors have been gone here so now the application is complete guys you can see that no error is there so now if i reload the application and once again click this button you will see that it has displayed my profile picture this is the name and this is the email address and if i open the same in the browser also let me just uh, control c and open this in the browser this is my app here just loading here click on log login with facebook you, you can see that it is displaying the profile picture name and email address so this was a short little tutorial guys implementing the facebook login in react so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button near the bottom of the video and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much